Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Well, it's been a while, but I thought I'd do a bit of a crafting cowl catch up. I've got a few finished objects to show you from different cowls that I'm taking part in, and I thought I'd share them with you. So let's get started. First off the ranks, of course, is the Bod Hatter Palooza, and this is the hat for last week. I think tomorrow comes out this week's. So I hesitated about making it because I have said the hats have to be fit for purpose. It was a super bulky six and I don't really have a lot of yarn. I actually have two balls that's left over from a project years ago where I made a button cross cowl by Rel from the Dabbling Hook. I'll put a link to that cowl crossover thing. It was beautiful and a friend loved it but she didn't wear hats and I had two balls left over. When I checked out the um, the video for the Bod Hatter Palooza, which was an easy cowl and hat, slouch hat, the reason I hesitated, I'm not sure I could make a slouch hat in such a heavier weight yarn, because I really don't go that heavy. Anyway, when I listened to the tutorial, you could make it into a normal beanie, which I did. So here's mine my easy beanie or slouch hat for Bod Hatterpalooza. When I did it, it's really quick to make up and it fits me really well. It's just way too thick and heavy for me. But someone out there will like it. Now, I had used a 9mm crochet hook. Um, Crystal suggested a 15 or a 15.25, can't remember. I think it was a Q. And I thought at the time I didn't have one of those, so I used 9mm. But in my cleaning up on the weekend, lo and behold, and I've knocked the camera again, sorry, let's tilt it back a bit, I found one. My 15mm crochet hook that I actually bought in Japan five years ago when I went on holiday. I haven't even taken it out of the packet. So I need to put this somewhere where I know when I'm looking for bigger hooks, I have it. Because yeah, five years ago in Japan I bought this. I forgot all about it. Anyway, I used my nine millimeter and uh, my two balls of Super 6 are uh, Woolies Thick and Quick. This is what's left from one ball when I made the hat and I just made it into a beanie. So I used the 9mm recommended by the yarn and I did do a few rows less so it wasn't a slouch hat which I'm really happy about. The colour is russet and there are, dun dun dun, it's a 170 gram ball and there is 106 yards or 97 metres in a ball and I have that and one ball left. So I don't know if I'll go back and make the cowl. I was contemplating it and having it as a set, but I'll think about it. Because it is Woolies, I can't donate it to my regular charity because it's, what is it? I think it's, yeah, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. And I can't donate to my regular charity anything that has wool in it. But I did enjoy it and I am looking to forward to seeing what comes out in Bod Hatterpalooza with Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming. Her cow. It's been fun. So another cow that I've sort of taken part in spasmodically, and I must admit I missed the last two because the items that came out weren't suitable for me and weren't fit for purpose. And I just joined in because I thought I'd see what comes out and if it was fit for purpose I'd make them. So that is Coco's Crochet Cal 2024. Well, this week came out dishcloths, and dishcloths are always handy. So I've made a couple. This one is made in the recycled cotton leftover from Ling, um, Lingcraft, a store here, that I didn't really like because it's quite splitty. And I just did the sober granny and left a fancy top. That's one I've done. I've got this one, which is in kitchen cotton leftover. I quite like the way it turned out, but I can't even say I enjoyed making the stitch. But I have two purple. They are different purples, see that? But what I will do is, and why they make such great gifts, I will 
put them with a nice bar of soap or a shower gel and gift wrap them and make lovely little gifts and that's why I thought well they're more face washes than dishcloths because they're quite soft those two this one is a dishcloth and it's for my kitchen because it has that leftover scrubby cotton where it's a bit of cotton a bit of scrubby a bit of cotton in it and some kitchen cotton and these are all scrap leftovers that I had and of course my favorite color is orange and my decor accessories around my house are orange so this will be either um, probably go in the laundry for the boys to use because it is just scraps and if they make it really dirty and I can't get it clean, well, unfortunately, it will take the road to the bin. So that was for Coco's Crochet Cal 2024, a couple of dishcloths. And then, of course, there's probably my favourite cow at the moment, uh, this year. I love it. I have a laugh every time I watch their videos. And sometimes I'm late to the lives or I miss them completely. But Hooker Verkus's Hooker with Jan the Alaskan Crafter, I have to make sure I say that right, and Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. It's such fun. And the things that they come up with for projects are quite entertaining. So this month, May, was the colours were green, yellow and white and you had to make a baby item or an item for a baby. That was in my interpretation of the brief. And I have this book in my stitch library that I've wanted to try. I really liked it when I bought it, Snuggle and Play Crochet. And I decided, it's earmarked, I think, I would make, here he is, Luke the Frog Lovey. But I did it slightly different. I did a love, different lovey. Because in the front of the book, there's a variety of loveys you can do. So here's my Luke the Frog lovey. Ta da! So that's Red Heart Super Saver. That is, I love this yarn <laughs> that Janet LaPray sent me that I've been hanging on to and I'm using it for special projects. And the white is just Super Saver. But yes, green, yellow, and white. It doesn't look yellow, but I'll show you. Here it is. It's a pale yellow. But that is my lovey, and he's not called Luke, he's called Freddy Frog, because that's a silly name for a frog, Luke. Which happens to be, we're still getting lots of rain. Reeves and I both got woken in the night last night with this tap, 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 stop, tap, tap. And we went outside, it was on a glass door, and at first we couldn't see what it was. And then down low, lo and behold, was a big green frog eating the bugs coming up against the glass. That's the third one we've seen this week. We haven't seen any for absolutely ages. Um, their population is decreasing because of the cane toads. Um, the cane toads, which were a pest, eat the tadpoles and not as many green frogs are being born, of course. I had one on the kitchen window on Friday night or on the kit outside on the rest. Um, the light was on so it was catching all the bugs and apparently thing when he was down the back mulching he saw one on the fence so we don't know if we're all seeing the same one but we have seen three green frogs so there's freddy the frog lovey for may hooker to hooker i watched the replay of the live today for the projects picked for june i can't remember all the colors i think it's pink yellow, orange, green, and teal. I'm not doing too bad. Five colours, and it's footwear, whether it be socks, slippers, but it's footwear, which at first I went, well, I hate knitting socks, and I've never crocheted socks. I have crocheted some really quick slippers, but since being home, I've done a bit of research, and I found a fun project. It's a paid-for pattern. Sorry, I've got problem with my teeth still and I'm having work done. And sometimes I lose bits of stuff they leave behind. Sorry about that. Anyway, too much information. Um, yes, I found this paid for pattern that should be a bit of fun. 
and I'm thinking can I fit all those colors in there if I raid my yarn stash I need to wait till Reeves can tell me if this particular color meets the teal requirement because on the color palette it falls into the teal family but I've never really called it teal so I'm waiting for him so keep an eye out for my June project it could be light-hearted and fun I always try and pick something I really enjoy I definitely will make more loveies from the snuggle and play crochet book I may even go on and make the full amigurumi toy they are so well written so put together with the four lovey patterns or five lovey patterns up the front that you can pick it really was a good investment for that book so that's that one that's that one so the spring thing throw with one the yarn addict so we've completed week three he was a little late getting week four out, but that's no big deal. It's out today. Hence why I need to do the video because I want to march on with my throw. It's getting big and it looks really good. Look, I can't say that I enjoyed week three because there were four rows of moss stitch and I do not like moss stitch. I wish he'd vetoed the moss stitch but I did do it and I'm keen to do week four when I saw the stitches come out in a video today I did a bit of video watching at work when I had some downtime which was really good because I could catch up on things I needed to know so I have been working on other whips my cafe beverage whip which will take me forever because I am making it big it's 209 stitches at the moment and it's quite the chore when I finish a row I feel like that's it but I actually did do two rows tonight um, what else have, and I've been working on one of my craft fair projects I've done it's a jumper the back and one one sleeve I started the second sleeve we've also been planning our trip right um, thing leaves on Sunday for Spain for three months and then we both meet up in the UK on the 31st of August and we've planned what we're going to do for our two weeks in UK and then we've been looking at Prague and Vienna and because we like to have things on the bucket list because we're not there for a long time so when we go through and say well I'd like to see that I'd like to do that and then we you know we collaborate I have checked out yarn shops I must admit but I wasn't going to do a lot of yarn shopping this trip. I was actually do, going to do more sightseeing and history and museums and art, music, all that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, that is my craft cow catch up, my crafting life for the last week or so. I'm going to try and do more um, patterns out of my stitch library. But I may have to purchase one pattern for this for June's hooker versus hooker. At first, when I thought about it, I remember looking at it during the floods, and I thought, oh yeah, it'd be a free pattern, but it's not. And yeah, it's not that expensive. It's just I have a mountain of patterns, and maybe when I go through them, I might find something else. Anyway, leave comments below what you're working on, and if it's footwear for June, what would you make? slippers socks sandals someone suggested stripper stilettos not for me i couldn't work out <laughs> work the stiletto heel out for a start mine's going to be some sort of fun project and i so that i enjoy it and have a bit of a laugh but i highly recommend that when they go over to decide on who when they do their video on live for who wins may make sure you've got the notification on and watch it because it's always a great laugh and I've really got no idea this time who could be the forerunning winner I can't wait to see it okay guys until next time stay safe stay well and be kind because remember hate begets hate bye for now <laughs>